Hello Pisces and welcome to Intuitive Energies. Today I'm going to do a different kind of reading for you. I'm going to be looking at what is stopping us today. Issues that we're having. I would like you to pick one of these rows. Because we're going to be talking in depth about each of these rows. The first one is growth, creation, and abundance. The second one is victim, workaholic, and joy. The third one is complacency, rejection, and insecurity. I want you to pick one or listen to all three. One of these is getting in the way of your ultimate happiness, Pisces, and we're going to be talking about that today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Oh, welcome back to my boudoir. That's not my boudoir. My beautiful desk of tarot. My beautiful desk of enlightenment. Where I recharge my batteries with you every night, Pisces. Yes. After a long day of toil, I recharge. Because, well, you know. You know. Sometimes it can really take it out of us. I try to learn the lessons. I try to understand why all of these uh, soulmates uh, are sent into my life. These people. I, you know, I don't like the word soulmate. You should call them soul contracts or feels like contracts to really get you going. So, but whatever. I'm taking the, I haven't taken this deck in a while, it's the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. They are, I did do a review on these, I did show them, I did do like a, a showing of them, so you can check that out on my website in the description box if that interests you. As always, I will ask you to support, the ultimate support is to subscribe and keep watching and comment and like. There we go. I'm going to put in three rows. You have the growth card here. Ugh, growing pains. I'm going to I'm going to pull out three. It's not for the past, the present, the future. It's just three areas right now. Creation. You have the creation card. And let's see what else. The areas that are causing us a lot of, uh, what, what would you call it? Contrast, that is the word. Where we feel the most contrast. Uh, I know we're here to experience these things, but sometimes abundance. You know, the cards, I was trying, I was hoping to have like cards like, um, you know, um, impartiality and patience something like that you know like they have quests dissipating um, they have facade they have bittersweet you know but I got these <laughs> which is kind of funny what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some more and I'm gonna see just how far I can push spirit here to get some answers okay so I'm gonna put some more on the growth Actually, I think those three go together. I'm going to put the creation underneath the growth in abundance. Because I do believe this is one row that we are working on. It, they sure look like it to me anyway. So let's see. We're going to do another row and see what else we can be working on. This is These are general and I'm trying to make them as broad as possible. So it will resonate with whoever's coming to watch this because... We all need some kind of help, okay? Victim, workaholic, and I need one more. See this? This is what I mean. I, I feel like joy. Okay. <laughs> all right. One more row. We're going to do three more cards. It's the first time I do it this way. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. I just go with whatever. Oh, this one wanted to jump right out. Complacency. Oh, Lord. 
Yeah. Rejection. Uh huh. There you go. Just what I'm talking about. Insecurity. There you go. That's going to be the row, my people. That's going to be the row. Okay. So I'm going to clarify them with this deck. And then I'm going to... I, I feel that these are the love cards, okay? This is like the... I forget what they're called. Eventually I will do a review on all these decks. I bought it on Amazon, but somebody asked me a question. They said, are they like Chinese knockoffs? And I... I'm not sure. I don't think so. I try to buy stuff from Amazon that looks legit, but... Okay. Alright, so... <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's talk about growth, creation, and abundance. Okay. Some of you are in this row. Maybe I should say pick, pick a row, right? Pick a row. Actually, pick whatever one just kind of resonates with you. So, we're going to clarify this one. Okay. <laughs> you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, they want me to pick two cards. Okay. Okay, so I've heard this story before. I have heard this story before. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do nice little, nice little designs here. Some of you are going into this spurt of growth, and by doing that, it's you're creating. You're creating, okay. And the ultimate goal is abundance. I can relate with this row because I have revamped my life. I have revamped the way I thought. I'm growing in new ways, and I'm creating. Even this channel, that's a creation of mine, okay? And even all these, these, these readings, I don't take them from anybody. I just go with what spirit wants. And I feel very creative and very alive when I do these things, okay? I feel very much in my element because I'm using parts of my brain that have to do with creation instead of calculation. I don't know if you... It is part calculation, but it's mostly creation. So I don't know if you guys understand that, but I can understand that with the Queen of Swords. Very much the air quality of it, okay? That's helping with the growth, especially the growth and the creation part. You know, you're doing the bun, the, the thing. But the thing is, between going from the growth creation to the abundance part, you need to go on a journey with the Eight of Cups. And you also need to leave crap behind. Stuff that no longer serves you, okay? Every reading we get this Pisces because some of us are not letting go of certain things. We let go of some. We're always moving. We're always learning. We're always doing. But ultimately, sometimes we're resisting. So I feel that this is very much about resisting that, okay? I'm going to pull... Uh, I'm going to call this the, the Guidance from Spirit. So, whatever you guys want to, you know, impart with us, that would be great. This is a tarot deck, but it's got its own writing on it and its own sayings. The Seven of Abundance, okay? It says, have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Oh my God, I can't believe the word grow. There's... The growth card. I'm not lying. It says the word grow on there. Oh, I love it when they do that. I love it when they do that. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, the hard work you've invested. Okay, don't. I'm gonna start again because now I'm all I'm all messed up. Have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry. The hard work that you've invested will bring about a beautiful and bountiful harvest. This is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use the time to rest and plan. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful message, guys. Did you hear that? That's a message from Spirit. That's a message from Spirit. So, you have, you have done your growth, you have created and grown, and your abundance is coming. Okay, just keep working on yourself. Keep working on your ideas with this beautiful Queen of Swords that's sharp as attack. Okay, 
And this is not gender related. You can, this is for anybody, okay? But the Queen of Swords, very, you know, very smart lady, the Queen of Swords. She's the strength of character. Very, very smart. And here you have the Eight of Cups walking away, going on a new journey, a spirit quest. You've been doing that all along, Pisces, okay? Seven of Abundance. Seven of Abundance is the Seven of Coins. This is the assessment card, okay? So, they're telling you, don't worry. No worries, dude. Everything's good. Dude, dudette, whoever. I love this one. Can we stop here? <laughs> okay, so I resonate with this one. But some of you may not, okay? Some of you may resonate with this one here. And I'm going to have to try and figure out what that is because you start with a victim, you go from a work and a workaholic and then into joy. <laughs> but that's, you got me. The last one's pretty dismal, so yeah. I think that's what I felt today. Anyway, so what I'm, it this came out. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so the top card is workaholic victim, and there is the six. That is the six, the six of pentacles. That's my give and take card. Okay. Okay. So working too hard, giving too much of yourself, has got you feeling like the victim. This part I get, and this part I get too. With the uh, six of pentacles, it's telling you this: your 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 sense of give and take is not balanced. Your balance is not balanced, okay? So it's making you feel like a victim, okay? Sorry, I know it's the truth. I know it hurts. And I know you, you're thinking to yourself, but I give so much of myself. And you do, Pisces. Why? Why are you giving so much of yourself? Why are you giving it away? Why are you giving it away? Okay, you're worth more than that. You are worth more than time. It's time for you to take care of you, Pisces. Okay? You have to equal it out. You have to equal it out. You can't just keep giving. Okay, so between the workaholic and the joy card is the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting this. The other part of this, this Pisces here, this is about appearances, okay? This is about appearances. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's very dynamic, very ooh, energetic, you know, like popular. Uh, she's like a queen of the prom, blah, blah, blah. And this, this what you're doing, giving too much of yourself, okay? Look at her. She's partying. Look at that joy card. But it's a facade. It's a. Um, it's not real. Okay. I remember reading this card, and I know now. I remember, like, from the book, reading this card, and it says, "When joy leaves the room, it kind of leaves everything empty." Like, it, it's it's a fake joy. It's not a real joy. It just looks like joy. So, when I saw this card, I thought of that immediately. So. I hate to say this, but you're doing this to project something different and you're, you're, it's not helping you, okay? You may look like you're happy, you may look like you're working so hard, you may be giving 200% uh, of yourself, but you're ending up being the victim in this, okay? And the victim is you, not everybody else who sees you, who thinks that you're something you're not, it's you, okay? So I'm going to get a card from Spirit right now. Wow. I feel for you, Pisces. No, that's too many, please. Can you give me a card for Pisces? This Pisces. Okay, two? Okay, I'll take the two. The two that you give me here. Seven of Emotions. Wow. 
Seven of Emotions, your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Not being yourself. Projecting somebody you are not. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. I'm sorry if I'm giving you crap, Pisces, in this row, but be you. Don't care about these people. Don't work yourself uh, sick or ragged and, and pretend to be somebody you're not. You're beautiful just the way you are. You don't need to pretend to be anybody else. You can be you. So that's the first card. I'm going to read the other one. Creativity and Abundance. Dear one, you're being called to action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects, becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. This is, this is the Empress card. This is telling, this is a call to be you, to stop, to stop being somebody else. This one right here, this is for Pisces who is burning a candle at both ends, trying to project an image of somebody they are not truly uh, inside of themselves. And you're dying inside. You know. You know you're dying inside. Okay? So if you're listening to this, just stop. Stop doing it. Okay? Find a way. Shift it in another direction. You're not serving anybody, especially yourself. You're not helping you. You're going to deplete yourself so much there will be nothing of you left to give to anyone. Wow, this is profound. This one, this one has me in tears, Pisces. This one makes me want to cry. So, wow. Okay. So my beautiful Pisces in this row, please, please make the decision to do something else. Do something that makes your heart happy, okay? To develop who you truly are. You are beautiful enough. You don't need to be anybody else but who you were meant to be. You don't need to project anything to anyone. Oh, my God. The last row, complacency, rejection, and insecurity. Again, rejection. Okay, I need a card between complacency and rejection, please, for Pisces. Okay, again, some of these Pisces need to move on. You're complacent, you're stagnant, you need out. Okay, and this is what this card is. Moving to a new journey, but you're afraid of rejection. Okay, you're afraid that if you change things, it's not going to work out, right? And between rejection, uh, between that is insecurity. This is the insecurity card. So you have rejection and insecurity. Okay. And the clarifier is, yeah, the world card. The world card is about starting a brand new cycle. Okay. And it's the harmony that you're afraid that it's going to, the harmony is going to go away. Okay. This is what you're afraid of. Because even in this stagnant position, you have... <sighs> You have, I won't even call it harmony, but you have a routine developed, okay? You know where things go, you know how things are done, you know every day, every day how it's going to play out, okay? And in some ways, you've built yourself into a very um, comfortable spot in life, right? This is comfort. This is, this is like knowing that your relationships are going to be okay, you know? Like, you know what's going to happen before it happens. And it's okay for the most part. 
But look at her. She's just she's just sitting there. It's it's just there's nothing left there. Okay? And and she's in tears. Like look at this. This is tears. It's like watching life pass you by. It's just not a good place to be. There needs to be movement. You need to move on. Life cycles are scary. Yes, they don't always feel comfortable. But you know what? Sometimes they're necessary. They're necessary. You need them to grow. You need need them to start a new cycle. Okay, you got to get past... You gotta get past this insecurity, this this little devil on your shoulder or beside you telling you you're not gonna make it. Yes, you're gonna make it. Everybody makes it. Everybody makes it. You decide to make it. You can be sitting in a cardboard box outside with nothing. And if you suddenly decide you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. It's a choice. I'm telling you it's a choice. Okay, that's too many. Please, Spirit, can you give me one or two, please? This is very emotional. Messenger of action. Here we go. Something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn, and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, I can't believe they did that again. You feel insecure. I swear to God it says it. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you. It says right here, insecure. You see that? Insecurity. Okay? They really give me shivers and goosebumps and all of that stuff when that stuff happens. I swear to And I love it. I love it to bits. It just reiterates my feeling that this is just what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so this is a. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to it. Um, although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. Do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life, or maybe you, who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, and who wants to try everything but is scared to do so. Do it, okay? Get out of this. So, I really hope that this is resonating, one of these situations is resonating with you. Like, honestly, I really hope that this is resonating with you, okay? Uh, I have nothing else to say. I really have nothing else to add. I think Spirit said it all, uh, Pisces. I, I hope that this is shaking you out of whatever you're in. And I really hope at one point that somebody finds my video and you go, Yep, I've decided I'm going to move forward in my life. I'm going to do something different. No matter what happens, I'm going to take a chance. Life is to live. Victim mentalities are not good for your health. Complacent, sad, insecure people, not good for your health. Impatience and despair over waiting for something to happen, not good emotions. So the first one is despair. The second one is, I don't know, not being true to yourself. And the last one would be being stagnant, I guess. But they're all messages that need to be heard. They're all messages that need... They're all messages from Spirit saying, get off your butt and do something about it. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I love doing these readings for you, Pisces. I hope they help. They help me. It's like therapy, I swear to God. And uh, I love you all. Thank you very much for being here. Take care of yourselves and I will see you 
in the next reading. Take care now.